Item Number SCP-737 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-737 is to be kept in a locked copper safe welded to the wall in storage unit at site While in its safe, SCP-737 is to be placed on its side in order to prevent a containment breach. In the event of a containment breach, staff are to attempt to incapacitate SCP-737 without touching or destroying its front carriage. SCP-737 is to be provided with 3 cm cube of wood every day via a robotic arm. Any additional carriages produced by SCP-737 are to be removed from the main body and deposited back in the safe to restrict SCP-737's movements. Description. The primary aspect of SCP-737 is the front carriage of a wooden toy train, approximately 5 cm tall, 4 cm thick, and when without carriages, 6 cm long. X-ray analysis has revealed that the wooden portion of SCP-737 is an outer shell, protecting a small brain and biological tissue that make up its actual body. SCP-737 is able to independently engage in locomotion and does so constantly when given the opportunity. When SCP-737 reaches an obstacle, it will, through a process as of yet unknown, absorb the material directly in front of it, and usually incorporate it into itself in the form of a wooden train carriage. This process typically takes 5 to 20 seconds, depending on the density of the material, and will leave a tunnel in the object for SCP-737 to continue moving through. SCP-737 has demonstrated the ability to absorb most materials, including wood, metal, plastic. SCP-737 seems unable to use some substances to increase its mass, and will instead convert it into a gas, which is then released from its chimney. SCP-737 appears unwilling to absorb copper in its own removed segments. SCP-737 is predatory and will favor living targets over inanimate objects. SCP-737 is likely vulnerable to damage, as the wood that comprises its outer shell shows no anomalous properties. Due to this, great care must be taken when handling SCP-737. As the chances of SCP-737 being a natural organism are extremely low, any clues as to its origin are to be reported immediately. History. SCP-737 was first discovered by the Foundation after a series of child disappearances and came to their attention when the police received testimony of a toy train fleeing from the crime scenes. Mobile Task Force Mu-9 toy breakers, were sent in to investigate the matter, and despite losing of their group, were able to successfully retrieve SCP-737. Addendum 737-1 SCP-737's size has recently increased dramatically. If SCP-737 continues to grow at this rate, we may have to reconsider the containment procedures. Dr. Honey Addendum 737-2 At approximately on 2000 and a containment breach of SCP caused SCP-737's regular beating time to be missed. Twenty minutes after the containment breach, SCP-737 began slowly absorbing the copper in its safe at a rate of 1 cm per hour, releasing a toxic and opaque gas from its chimney. SCP-737 was quickly brought under control by the timely actions of research assistant who described the gas as foul. It now appears that although SCP-737 is unwilling to absorb copper, it does have the capacity to do so.